What is local first and how does it compare to offline first? How much do the terms overlap? Let's find out. The local first movement is growing. My theory is that local first is the best foundation to build high quality apps in general. I want to tell you about local first but software. Local first seems really hard. The developer experience around this became a lot more simple. Everything happens locally first. People are following more local first repositories. In this series, look at the key concepts behind local first development. This is local first versus offline first in 100 seconds. We need to start at the evolution of software. The first wave of consumer software ran locally on users' computers, reading and writing files on disk. These old-school apps are also called desktop apps, local apps, or standalone apps. They worked offline, and your data was private to you. The biggest downside was that your data was trapped on one device. Then, the era of the cloud and web apps meant that software moved increasingly online. Servers in the cloud store data centrally, and users get access on demand via the internet. Cloud apps became extremely popular because users could access their data from any device and online collaboration with other users became possible. A bit later, in the early 2010s, smartphones and mobile internet connectivity took off, and the downsides of cloud apps became clear. Network latency can make apps slow, and if you're not connected to the internet, you can't access your data. Developers realized that retrofitting cloud apps to work offline was complicated and prone to insidious bugs, and so the offline-first movement was born. The idea was to design apps to work offline from the start, rather than as an afterthought. In the late 2010s, developers realized that we lost something else with the move to the cloud. Users no longer truly owned and controlled their data. In response, Local First was born to get the best of both worlds. The local ownership and control over data of old school apps, and the cloud's convenient cross-device access and multi-user collaboration. Research lab Inc. and Switch described the end-user benefits of Local First as seven ideals. Two of these ideals overlap directly with offline first, two of them are about retaining the advantages of cloud apps, while the remaining three are about long-term access to software, privacy, and control over data. Local first has also become more than just a description of app architecture. It's a growing movement. Developers are coming together to work on generalized tools that simplify local first development for everyone. That's local first versus offline first.